and stay like this through much of the season. The Brewers playing right now against Arizona, so they still have to finish their game. But there's the Pirates and there's the Cubs. You see that Cardinal loss to Minnesota. And so I ask you, I know you think the Cardinals can contend. <laughs> Who winds up winning this division? Where's Eric Karras when you need him? Why, why they got that? a four-team race in the Central. Earlier in the year, I said that. He just started laughing. He lost it. What, does he but, think the Cubs are going to run away with well, it? Well, he thought the Cubs were going to run away. But this is going to be an interesting story all summer long with these four teams. Because they're all playing at high cylinders. The Pirates didn't expect the young pitching to grow up as fast as they did. Now, they're back into it. St. Louis has gotten better this year. They're playing winning baseball. The Cubs are definitely out on favorites to win it. I think they haven't played well at all so far. I think they get hot and, and nudge the whole division, but it's going to be one heck of a race this summer with these four teams. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, the Pittsburgh Pirates, I mean, the way they're playing right now, like you're saying, they did not expect to get this much participation and well as depth a, a, with their youth pitching, man. These guys have done a tremendous job. I mean, obviously, the St. Louis Cardinals are feeling really good about where they are right now. Uh, but I don't know, man. I mean, I think this is going to boil down to the end. I feel like this, it's no one's really running away with it right now, and uh, we'll have to sit back and uh, figure out well, what Well, I mean, one team that's interesting for me is the Milwaukee Yeah, Bulls. they made moves. I mean, that, that team is just, you know, the, the organization did everything possible to make them better within their budget. And they're playing like it. These guys are playing like winning baseball. I mean, winning teams. They did it last year, and they've started. The culture has changed over there. Yeah. They're playing winning baseball. So if Milwaukee wins it, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, when you bring over Yelich and Low Kane, I mean, those are two star players mm -hmm. coming over, and you're putting right in the middle of your lineup. Yeah, but Milwaukee, it comes down to pitching. It always yeah. comes down to pitching. For the Indians who fall a game below 500, things tighten in the American League Central. I wonder how much they miss Brian mm. Shaw. And since 2012, Shaw the most appearances of anybody in baseball. Even this year, uh, the most appearances of anybody well, in the National League. Of course they miss him. He's been very consistent in for many years. That bullpen was locked down city over the last couple of years with, with Cleveland. So, yes, you miss him. And they miss Santana. Those two players were chemistry guys in that team, but they both carried a lot of weight, and they both made a lot happen on the field. So, Cleveland is not the same team this year because the, the, the loss of those two players. Most teams think you can move on from, from certain things like that. They had a team. It looked like a dynasty. Now, when you lose two valuable pieces, things change for you. And Andrew Miller right now looks Injured, not hurt, mm, injured. injured. Big and difference. when you're injured, you can't play. It might be time for him to go on the DL for a very long time. Well, we saw his face. I mean, he, yes. he looked like he didn't even have it out there. Almost like, I'm not saying the man was scared, but it mm -hmm. looked like he was like a little frightened. Like, wow, I might not have the same stuff that I'm used to having. And any time you have bad knees coming from a guy that knows what that feels mm -hmm. like, when you're coming down with that much force on that front knee, mm -hmm. that's going to cause some problems. Yes. And, you know, we talked about it. Like, do the Indians need some more help in the bullpen? Absolutely. Andrew Miller's not going to be able to pitch every day. Mm -hmm. And if he's pitching like this, he's not even going to get the opportunity to pitch. All right, but that division. Uh, Tigers, Royal, I mean, it's pretty much, I mean, can the Twins catch the Indians? Uh... I mean, they could, but the bottom line is Cleveland Indians still have a very good ball club. Okay. They still got great they starting got Kluber, pitchers. Kluber, Carrasco. You know, they're, those guys are going to have to pitch deep in the ball games. They will find a way. There will be some, some, some relievers out there available at the, at the break. They better hone in on those guys right now because they're going to need that sooner rather than later. Yep. I mean, th th there's nobody in the AL Central over 500. Yeah. There's, the, there's, there's nobody. We're talking about right. how good the Cleveland you, Indians you, are? As long as you win it. But the Twins are a half game back, and Jason Dovitz, the right. Tiger fan, tells me that Detroit's only one game back. I know. And, <laughs> and, and Byron me. Buxton yes. is back. He's back. And, and soon the Twins will get snow and <laughs> Santana is back. and some yes. other people. Are you still here? Yeah, he's still oh, yeah. here. Okay. Bro, he was right. root, root for his Tigers, a loyal fan. Hey, they're playing well. All right, well, we continue.